We're just going through this list quick, some basic things to go through. But any medications that you can store up on that are your vital medications, you need to do that. Um, if you can get a month or two, I know it's a hard time with doctors sometimes to do that. But if you can do that, if you're diabetic, if wh whatever your conditions are, you really need to be prepared in that way as well. And um, also, you know, the non-critical prescription medications. But just find, and your over-the-counter medications, you can stock up on some of those too. The other thing that's so vitally important, and I remember learning this after Katrina and when I started putting grab-and-go bags together, is your important documents. You need to get your important documents, have copies of them, have the originals, and your, your family emergency contact yes, that's list. Right. And another really important one that we had written down here that a lot of people don't think about is that make sure you have good maps. Yes. Local maps, regional maps, state maps, national maps. Good. Make sure they're very, very detailed as well. One of the places you can put all of these things is the, actually what we in our water brick. Yeah. Right. The water brick has such a big seal mm -hmm. on it that it completely seals water yeah. tight. And so you don't want your good items getting water and getting wet. Okay. Make sure you have copies of your prescription. Mm -hmm. Make copies so if you need it. It's just things that most people don't, don't think about. Yeah. And, uh, you know, all your insurance papers, right. Social Security, all, yes. just, I mean, there's all kinds of things mm -hmm. that life can become very, very difficult mm -hmm. without your identification and, right. and all the paperwork. So we, we just wanted to, wanted to throw that out. Just help now, you out a little bit with some ideas. Everybody here has uh, been m making up a list of things that we need. And uh, with a grab-and-go bag as well. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we need to go back to I think we offering to a grab-and-go bag too. soon. Me too. Because I think it's time a lot of people don't that. have them. No. And that's when, when there's a tornado coming or a right. hurricane coming, uh, you need to be able to grab and go, whatever grab it is. That's it's time to stock up batteries. Everything you use needs a battery. You guys, how, do you know that? Do you all save, have extra batteries at your house? I, uh, I, I have a We few. have drawers of batteries. <laughs> I we stash them in different places because of Ricky. And he I always goes and finds them, so I, I have them stashed because and Ricky, I, he's always taking batter, I, borrowing I always, batteries. Always, always need batteries. He so always needs batteries. He's back here behind me. Everything like, runs on batteries. batteries. And so just have your batteries uh, put, put away. Yes. Get, get some more. Yes. Uh, so first aid kit, manual, insect repellent, uh, hoods, mm -hmm. what, flame resistant, ponchos, fire extinguishers. Fire extinguisher, very, very important. The list goes on and on and on. Duct tape, nylon cord, Gotta have duct tape. and hygiene Shovels, projects. small shovels. Products. Yes. The whistle. That's I just found my whistle yesterday, and I was so excited that I had that whistle in case of an yeah. emergency. I mean, I have one in, in my survival, you know. Even, even heavy-duty garbage bags is, oh, is a good one. Huge. Yeah. That's a great. I mm -hmm. love that. I'm going to stock up on more of those. And signal flares, you yes. know, tool kits, mm -hmm. scissors, mm -hmm. uh, a needle and thread, mm -hmm. extra sets the of keys, keys. Yeah. plastic sheeting. Mm -hmm. You have the plastic, you know, you need a plastic bucket with tight lids. Have those with our That's right. there. That's great. Uh, disinfectant and chlorine bleach. Oh, you better believe that. You know, sh like Pastor said, shovels, small shovels, large shovels, like any type of, you know, outdoor tools that you would need. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, extinguishers, a tube tent, compass, mm -hmm. work gloves, mm -hmm. sturdy shoes, probably more than one pair of shoes, work boots, mm -hmm. tennis shoes. Extra clothing. You need to start... I personally stock, I never throw blankets away or quilts or anything. I mean, I have, I mean, S Sasha can attest to it. She's looked in our, our closets. At our, I store up blankets in case of, in case we don't have any power at all. Everything's gone. 